Do you have a local business, let's say a dental practice, chiropractor, plumber, roofer, electrician, any type of local business that's trying to use Google ads to generate leads and customers? I've been doing this for over a decade now and in this video, I'm going to share all the different types of strategy, the types of campaigns that I run for a local business. It's not what you think and there's each campaign serves its own specific function. So you definitely want to watch this video closely because I outline each of those campaigns and I also reveal the results that we're getting for a brand new account straight out of the gates. So let's go dive right in. So here we are in this live Google ad account, and I'm sorry, I've had to blur some of the sensitive data, but essentially what you can see is this is a brand new account and on um, we've launched these new campaigns. Uh, the blue is impressions and the red are conversions. So we've really hit the ground running and got leads straight out of the gate. I've just minimized the chart, but as you can see here, I've got a bunch of different kind of campaigns and each campaign is running a different kind of strategy. So I've just minimized this chart and I, these are all the different campaigns that I'm running. I'm going to walk you through each of these campaigns so you can understand what each campaign is and the strategy behind it. Really, really important because they each serve a different purpose. All right. So this first campaign here is a dynamic search campaign. If you're unfamiliar with what a dynamic search campaign is, I'm going to put a link in the description of this video to how to create a dynamic search campaign. But essentially you don't bid on keywords. Google decides what keywords to bid on based on the content on your website or your landing page or whatever it is that you give it. All right. I actually am a big fan of dynamic search campaigns because they're a great way to discover keywords, keywords that or search terms, keywords that I wouldn't have otherwise thought of that often don't show up in the keyword planner tool. And so therefore um, it's a really great discovery kind of campaign. So I'm running a dynamic search campaign. It has its own budget. It's on its own. And as you can see here, it's already generated four leads for this particular client. This next type of campaign is a very targeted uh, type of campaign for a specific specific kind of service they're running. Uh, we have decreased the mobile bids because people who search for this probably, you know, it would get some mobile traffic, but the desktop traffic is going to convert a little bit better. But we're targeting onto the people who've got that specific problem and therefore are searching for somebody who can help with that specific problem. All right, this third type of campaign. So because this is a local business, right, where they serve a local community, we're targeting for the regions that they serve. So people who type in Let's say they're a dentist, dentist and that suburb or dentist and that region. All right. And we find that we can do wider location targeting for this because people have typed in the location that they're looking for. So we know that they're looking for that location so we can cast our location targeting net wider and therefore hopefully get more traffic that way. I'm a big fan of, of bidding on locations. I find I can generally not always uh, get a lower cost per click, even though that's not the case for this particular client, but um, it's a lot more targeted and it often converts way better. And yeah, as you can see here, we've got seven uh, leads already for that particular very targeted campaign. My other type of favorite um, campaign for a local business is what's called near me keywords. So whatever is your local business, so dentist near me, chiropractor near me, uh, make sure for this we put this in its own campaign because we want tight location targeting because you set the location targeting at a campaign level. So we want really, really narrow location targeting because somebody has typed in near me, right? So we want to make sure we are actually near them. Okay. So that's definitely uh, a type of campaign you want in your arsenal. We have a brand campaign, of course, that converts really well. Another uh, geographic location campaign for they service a number of different regions and then uh, other kind of very targeted uh, type of um, service based uh, queries. So, for example, if you're a dentist, it might be, you know, root canal dentist or so whatever is a sp specific service. So rather than, you know, just dentist and the location, we also people who type in, as I said, root canal dentist or dental implants dentist and all, all that kind of stuff. Alrighty. I actually outline a lot more that I do for local businesses in a free course that I teach. Uh, so you can just go to teachtraffic.com slash local 
And in this course, I teach you how to get highly qualified leads using Google Ads for your local business. I've been servicing local um, businesses for the last decade, so I know a thing or two about how to use Google Ads to generate leads. Uh, so yeah, if you just either, um, I might put a form on here or at the moment, you can just email me to get access to this free course and I will add you to the list and each day you'll receive an email with uh, an updated video on the next steps that you need to take. All right, so if you like this video, definitely hit that thumbs up icon, subscribe to my channel, and thanks so much for watching.